Commissioner. Sorry, I got called away earlier. I've asked DA Dawson to sit in. Not a problem. My position hasn't changed. I would like my client Griffin Monroe arraigned so he can be released immediately. I'm not prepared to do that at this time. Well, the clock is ticking and he needs to go before a judge so you can kick him loose. You both must know that you have the wrong man. He didn't kill Kiki Jerome. I'm not prepared to make that assumption. Are you prepared to follow the Constitution? Because he can't be held indefinitely. Alexis, you know this investigation is ongoing. We'll be holding Dr. Monroe until we know more. Get him in front of a judge in a timely manner or be prepared for the consequences, which will be in court or with the press. I actually agree with Alexis. I don't like Griffin Monroe for this murder. Well, given the evidence, you'd be remiss not to hold him. Sorry to interrupt. You got a sec? It's kind of uh, important. Yeah, of course. I'll be right back. What's up, babe? I got some intel that might be relevant to your case. We don't want the PCPD dictating the timetable too late. Sasha Gilmore. Yes? Can I help you? We need you to come down to the station for questioning. Miss Gilmore, thanks for coming in. I didn't have much choice. You don't have to say anything until your lawyer gets here, remember? But she's supposed to be in court until this evening. Do I have to stay here that long? Miss Gilmore, we have the right to hold you for some time, if need be. Okay, and I will stay with you, no matter how long it takes. No, I, I want to get this over with. Diane said don't say anything until she gets here. Miss Reeves, I'm going to have to ask you to wait outside. You too. Sasha, may I call you Sasha? It's come to our attention that there was a significant incident involving you, Kiki Jerome, and Griffin Monroe. Is that right? That's correct. Maybe I should wait for my lawyer after all. No one's accusing you of anything. I just want to hear your story. I didn't know Kiki that long, but I really liked her. And I was really sorry about the misunderstanding we had. What misunderstanding? I hadn't originally intended to stay in Port Charles. I only came for a visit. Once I decided to stay longer, Kiki offered to let me stay with her. That was generous. Very. It seemed like a perfect fit. We really got along great. Unfortunately, I acted on some misinformation and it didn't end well. What kind of a misinformation? I was told that Griffin and Kiki were only casually involved. That it was basically a friends with benefits situation. Griffin was attentive to me. Not hitting on me, not at all, but he definitely seemed to like me and I liked him. I started flirting pretty heavily and Kiki didn't like it. She came to see me at work, told me that she and Griffin were serious and that I'd have to move out. Hmm. How did you react? I was annoyed. But once I had five minutes to think about it, I decided that it was for the best. Whatever was going on between the three of them, I didn't want any part of it. When you say the three of them, who are you referring to? Griffin, Kiki, and Kiki's mother, Ava Jerome. She's the one who told me that Griffin and Kiki weren't serious. I realized that she was setting me up, hoping that I'd cause friction between Kiki and Griffin. Well, what led you to this conclusion? I was drugged and left naked in bed with Griffin. <laughs>